Time to play with some clay. I got uh, photographs that I've taken at uh, the Buffalo Bill Museum in Cody, Wyoming. And there was a buffalo robe that had a strip of, uh, well, it's, it's not beadwork, it's qu quill work. And quill work is what they, the Indians used before they had uh, beads. They uh, took uh, the quills of uh, a porcupine and they would boil them and dye them and they would weave them in patterns and I, I actually think quill work is a prettier uh, thing than uh, beadwork quite honestly but it's basic and so this is a strip that was on the back of a buffalo robe and I'm going to see if I can line it up and put it on uh, this uh, buffalo robe. So I'm going to cut the strip out. I uh, expanded it to the size it would be for this figure using the buffalo robe that I had scaled before using my Printmaster Gold program. I'm going to bring, this is going to go down towards the tail, which is right there, and uh, Up and around. There we go. This is so I can get this uh, whole thing oriented properly. There we go. This can do, you can do this with anything. If you're doing a sculpture that has pattern to it, just work out a way of doing it so that you can do it. Don't think for an instant that uh, sculptors in the 1800s or way back didn't use methods something like this as well they did. They just didn't tell people about it. There's a lot of little secrets that artists like to keep secret because they want uh, to have a mystery connected to their uh, work. Uh, there's no mystery. It's just learning little techniques. I'm just going to use my uh, caliper here to trace the line. I'm also going to mark where the uh, colors would be different. Those marks will go uh, go away after I get done making this more permanent. The 
This just helps me get it, it lined up. I'm just going to make a not so accurate circle because I got I'm going to use something as a template for the circles. Okay. I'm just going to take it down a little bit further. Okay. What I'm going to use for the uh, template for the circle is a Dr. Pepper cap. <laughs> it's about the right size. It might be a little bit bigger, but I don't care. It's whatever works. center it and then roll it there we go not too much I'm gonna take it out do it again center the circle Alright, I got some leftover clay that I ran through my pasta machine. And I'm going to make my circles out of that. Okay, there we go. Use it like a cookie cutter. Mind you, this is the first time I've tried this, so I don't know if it's going to work or not. You never know till you try. There we go. So 
So what I'm doing now is I'm, these would be circular uh, woven patterns on the uh, discs and so I'm just going to put the same width as the uh, bead or the uh, strips between following the outline of the uh, disc and doing it carefully not to go out of the line if I can this is the hard part right here Now, I've got all of them uh, circled out. Now it's just a matter of finding some tool that I can uh, make the uh, pattern for the uh, quill work. Let's see. Nah, that's not going to work. It's got to be a real sharp tool. I think that might do it. Whatever tool I choose, I've got to make sure I use the same tool on all of them. You can't change the uh, pattern or the texture every time. Now after I do the pattern, I'm going to re-emphasize the uh, circles, which means I'll have to go back and do it again. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Actually, it looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to put the first one on only because I can't see anymore. <laughs> it's getting uh, hard for me to, my eyes are limited but you can see how nice that looks once it goes on and I'm going to cut the part that goes underneath the rifle and just press it down there I'm happy with that now Let's put a strip on. It's nice that it's the same thickness as the uh, disc. There we go. And we'll do the same thing with the uh, strip that we do with the disc. Now, I'll just take my tool and mark where the uh, 
color division will be. Take another tool. To get rid of the marks that I made on the clay. And then whatever texture tool I use to put in on the uh, robe have a border of clean clay to work from. All right. That's going to be it for today. I'll catch you guys next time. Probably next week. Have a great night and a great weekend. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time